Hello everyone, so in this particular video, I'll be walking by through on the following step of having more features on selecting a particular product when you are browsing through your all your products that are in your store. So how, let's say, if a user just finds a product, so the product needs to have variations. So the variations are like, for example, let's say this is a shirt here. So there can be a variation of this shirt. For example, uh, this shirt is a white shirt. What if you also been selling a blue shirt, a black shirt, so and the list goes on. And also you can have more than one variation. For example, the size variation also can be included in this particular product. So that's the that's the whole idea of this particular course it will be. So this particular video will be. So let's get started. So let's go back to our editor page here. This is a simple, uh, I mean, this is where we have left. We have just made all the buttons, all the product card, the the cart itself and next is that let's go to products here click on products and let's say you would like to have variation for your shirt white so as you can see just need to click on that once you're able to click on it you will be prompted to this uh, yeah this particular uh, how do you say it's a sidebar I mean this, this is like a retail page so we can just go to this particular uh, section called options so options is allow you to sell different various variants of the same product so this is the idea of this is where you can actually uh, have your uh, variations to be included here so that you just need to click on add option set so the first variation that we would like to have for your product is for the shirt is size so because size is the most matter so in this case let's put size and of course in order to have size you'll have usually have three sizes the most common which is small which is s and there's uh, m then there's l so right now we have added three sizes three variation of sizes so and as you can see here once the various variants have been added for example s m l so all of these are actually uh, like just to, just like to uh, indicate that there are other variation of the same product so that's what uh, this is this particular thing is basically so once you have done this uh, you need to click on done here so once you have done you can also add more option okay so now we have just saved it the staged changes so as you can see we need to publish it as usual because every time you save changes you need to publish your product just to make sure your products actually up to up to date in the customer's point of view okay now as you can see this is published now, now let's head to the uh, the main editor which is this as you can see here it's I mean there is a new field which have been just created by default by automatically by webflow just by adding your size and select size and as you can see inside your select you have your all your other options as well so so let's give it this Let's, before that let's publish to selected domains first and once it has been published we can just easily just click on this uh, external link icon and just delete this so as you can see here this is the product page yeah basically of your white shirt and you get to have your select size uh, yeah option which can be selected and from any of this let's say if I select S and select quantity is one and add to cart so currently it's adding to cart now as you can see here inside your cart you have all your uh, your products specs specification for example the price the size so this is how this particular product variation can be used in your product in your e-commerce store so that's all for me that's the whole idea of this particular part of the video thank you thank you for watching yeah let's meet in the next video